What is good? What's going on? And welcome to another video. We are heading out this morning just outside the city limits of Cape Town to a really nice flip site that I have with loads of sort of building rubble and a bunch of concrete and other bits and pieces that have sort of been laid out there over the years. It's a site that I pretty much only hit in the winter time when things are actually undercover but unfortunately the site's been pretty much destroyed by people going there and uh, just being really inconsiderate and reckless. But I haven't been there for about a year so we're gonna hit it and I will catch up with you guys when we get there. So it is voiceover from the future here for a little bit. I just want to explain. You can see all of this cover has been flipped and none of it's been put back. Of course, destroying the moisture layer. This is done by irresponsible herpers. Um, this whole area is pretty much dead now. Um, I'm not going to find much, but we're going to carry on. Oh, first snake of the day. It's a little Kuru sand snake. It's probably far too small for you guys to see. Let me just grab him quickly. And there we go. We have some success. This place has been absolutely destroyed by, I presume, young, responsible herpers. I mean, everything's been flipped and not been flipped back. Real. Real unfortunate, in fact, because I haven't been here in over a year, so I was hoping this place would be prime for herbs today. But nice to get something on the board at least. These guys are really common. I'm gonna grab one or two photos of it and then put them back under his concrete, put his concrete back, and we're gonna keep flipping. So here's a look at that little Kuru sand snake that we flipped under a little piece of concrete. Sorry for the noise, I'm right by a busy road. Yeah, we've pretty much got some pictures of him so he can go right back under his little piece of concrete. They're so flighty, you'll see he'll probably zip off as soon as I sort of make any random movements. You can see how alert they are, actively always looking for the nearest spot to sort of disappear and hide under. Yeah, crew sounds like really common in this sort of coastal habitat right along the beach here. So we just let this guy go and we're gonna get on out of here. Oh, there you go. Oh, we've got a double flip. We've got two Citrodactyl sips, the short legged sips. And there's another one over here. So let me grab one quick before he skedaddles. Oh, and we've. Yeah, there's two sips. And we've got a goat over here. It's back to this cakey. And there is the one sips, and there's the other sips. Um, let me just grab them quickly and we'll put the board down. I um, may as well grab this guy for a picture too. Well, we're just gonna release the seps. The other one's already under there, but release the seps and also the gecko back under the cover board. This little guy burrowing down the grass here. This little angular tortoise. It's cold and miserable, so he's definitely not gonna be out and about today, so I'm not gonna bother him. But let's see, let's get a nice look at the carabas. Make a really good looking one, but I'm not gonna take it out, it's gonna sleep in there. So we just arrived at Greater Nature Reserve. You can see we've had so much rain. I'm here with Oliver who's back and then we've got Kurt and another friend down there. But we are out here looking for another species of moss frog that either of us have found. So we're gonna give it a crack and hopefully turn some up. Have a look at this habitat though.
Have a look at that. We just got the mountain rain fog. Very sips montanus. And it just started to rain. You can see just how small those guys got to show. So we did it. This is our main target for the trip and the entire weekend. Uh, we did find several individuals that I unfortunately managed to hash up all the footage. As you can hear, all the calls in the background, but this gives you an idea of the habitat and the sleeps of where we found the frogs. Just flip this piece of asbestos. Here's our first snake of the day. It's still a little herald snake. I'm trying to get him out before these ants destroy him. Here's this little herald. You can see his pale face, dark temples. He's actually quite nice and special. We'll get some pictures of him and then we can go back under his beautiful house. Just let this guy go. We are done with him. So, first. Fibian under the rubbish pile, little cape river frog, just a low one, it's just under all this trash. We're gonna work through the rest of this, Kurt and I, and see what we're gonna turn up. Oh, well that didn't work, but we got one agama, two agama, three agama, a nice red sided skink, there was a gecko, and but yeah, a nice double flip, triple flip, quad flip, spectacular flip under a piece of spit stuff. Let's move these guys a little bit. So I just peeled back this piece of bark. We got a nice looking feral snake on the one side, and Kurt has the worst of the two options. He's got a oh, there we go. stinky <laughs> little sluggy there, which is just musking all over him, which is great. But yeah, a little herald snake, sluggy there. We'll photograph these guys, and we're gonna head down there and try and flip some trash. Look at that little stinky thing. So we just made it to the next spot, and I just picked up this beautiful Cape Girdle lizard. You can see how heavily keeled the scales are on the side of the body, including on top of the body. The wind is absolutely atrocious. We are right here against the sea, so I just got a couple of photographs of this Cordanus, and I'm just going to pop him back under his rock, and we're going to get out. So I just turned up another one of these Cape Girdle lizards. You can see just how beautiful the dorsal markings are, and how dark the face is on this individual. But we've pretty much given it a good hack. We are gonna head on out of here. And thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next video.